Hi, I'm Tim Robel and welcome to another episode of Adventure Athlete. Today I'm here to talk to you guys about the Advanced Elements two-person kayak. I believe this thing measures in about 14 foot 7 inches, weighs about 40 pounds, and uh, condenses down to go inside the adventure truck to about a two foot by three and a half foot package and that includes uh, the paddles that break down into uh, four parts those are sold separately but those are also advanced elements I didn't get those right off the bat but I thought um, getting everything I really like one kit everything packed in one little bag one little safe place uh, for the life jackets I've went with a uh, inflatable they're self inflatable you have to pull the little cord to do that but I've done that because life jackets are so uh, big uh, to carry around in bulk and as a lot of you know the adventure truck is is small um, so I'm always trying to pare down and condense a little kit now how does this boat paddle compared to our other kayak which was also a 14.7 but it was a rigid hull um, it probably isn't as efficient but I'm gonna say it's about 95 percent as efficient and the um, the ease of setup isn't really a deal breaker. Um, you do have to purchase separately a big uh, tube uh, pump for it. Now this thing is um, like the floor liner and it only inflates to one PSI and it has a blow off valve so it'll let you know when you're putting too much in it. But you can kind of see that it's, it's, it's rigid enough. And then with the sides, these are really, these have three PSI in them. Then there's also two chambers here that you have to inflate and then one chamber in the back. Um, I have found this boat to be more comfortable than any other boat that we had. We started off with the uh, Cobra kayaks. Um, we had those for about eight years. I used them I think two or three times and we probably rented kayaks about, I don't know, eight to 15 times. Um, so this boat is actually getting use because it's easy to transport. You could easily put this in a trunk of a, uh, a car or a hatchback in the back. Um, we've put it in the back of a Nissan Juke. We've put it in the back of a Ford Mustang. Um, and it also goes uh, in a nice little spot inside the adventure truck. It does take about, uh, I'm going to say, five minutes to inflate. And it is a little bit of a workout, but that's what we're here to do is do a little workout. Now we've done a better job inflating the boat today, but you can see we still have the cover on the main chassis is a little bit twisted. That does not affect um, really how it goes in the water. Um, an embarrassing factor that I'll say is last uh, week we had this boat out. And uh, once again, we're down at Newport Dunes. Uh, we were down here last uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And now we're back, uh, this today is Tuesday, we're back again and uh, getting ready to go out. But, um, you know, we hadn't used the boat in about a year and I put it in the water and we took off and I'm like, man, I don't really have a whole lot of room to sit. Let me unzip this cover a little bit. Well, as, as stupid as this is going to sound, we were paddling the boat backwards. Um, I was sitting in the back and Kim was up uh up front and uh yeah we had the boat backwards so as you see the boat here with the uh the spray cover that's zipped closed and everything that's how the boat's supposed to go and that's the direction of travel the way we have it so uh hopefully no one noticed and we didn't look uh <laughs> too dumb doing that kim what's your uh, thoughts on the uh advanced elements boat i like it i think it's uh very practical for those of us who like to run around and do stuff because again as you were mentioning, when we had the um, the, the sit-upons, uh, the cobras, we took them out very rarely just because it was such a pain to get them loaded on a rack and everything. And so we'd rent kayaks even though we owned kayaks and that was really, really dumb. So this, I think, is a good compromise that's actually more effective than a lot of your rigid kayaks just because, again, not a huge storage space and you can just take them and go, you know? So I like it. I, I think it's a win last week. We did indeed both complain about like, why is this so uncomfortable today? <laughs> yeah, well, the uh, loose nuts inside, <laughs> what was wrong with it? <laughs> so for myself, uh, I have a, uh, a leg that I broke, I guess that's about 25, 29 years ago, uh, Tib and Fib. 
And uh, what would happen is I would get in a rigid kayak and I usually use my uh, life vest. Uh, traditionally, we don't tend to wear life vests in the, uh, in the ocean. Uh, we always have life vests with us. But I would wrap the uh, life vest around my foot because it would be so uncomfortable in the rigid hull. And in this, um, it's kind of like more of a cushy. You're kind of sitting on a, uh, you know, a blow up air mattress but it does not paddle like that. Now we have got into uh, some other inflatables before and um, they were more of like what I would call a kid's toy. Uh, not efficient to paddle and not efficient to steer. This thing, um, I have no problem getting both of us in this boat and uh, letting Kim sit back and relax and enjoy a day as uh, we paddle all the back bay in Newport. Most of the time we're out for about two, two and a half hours on this boat and uh, that's good. I, I feel I could probably uh, be in this boat all day and be comfortable just because of how you sit in the boat and um, how comfortable the, the air cushion really is on it. So uh, food for thought, something to think about. Um, this cover sitting on this is still bothering me. It's better than it was before, but uh, really got to do a better job of getting that put into the right place because I think once it's in the right place, um, it won't be such a huge issue. On this trip, we are going to pull everything apart on this boat and wash everything down with um, fresh water, let it dry, and then we'll pack it back up. But uh, as far as an inflatable kayak, I'm going to go ahead and give this a 9 out of 10 because I think there's always room for improvement and to be a little bit more efficient. Um, as far as the, uh, the weight of the boat, it's about 10 pounds lighter than, the, uh, than a rigid kayak. Uh, with no disadvantages of um, you know efficiency like I said maybe it's you know five percent less efficient but not not a deal breaker and that's what's key right here is the ease of transport everything fitting in one bag and just being uh, so simple um, it really is a good little um, uh, unit uh, not to really crap on anybody else's stuff but uh, we've tried kayaks like this before and they're not very efficient to paddle they're wide so it's hard to actually get a good paddle stroke. With this, we're a little bit more narrow. I think we're wide, like something like uh, 32 inches at the at the uh, width. But don't quote me on that. All I can just go by is seat of the pants feel, and it feels good to paddle. Wow! Look at all the fish. Yeah, that's what I'm watching. We got little baby ones all along the shore too. If you ever come to uh, Back Bay Newport, you got to know that uh, you got to do the stingray shuffle because there's stingrays hidden in here. And a lot of things, that's another thing with this boat, it doesn't take a whole lot of water, even with my 245 pound butt in it. Um, it doesn't take a whole lot of water for this thing to uh, stay afloat. Uh, last week we were in the Back Bay and the water actually got down to about 10 inches deep. and. Uh, I wasn't using a paddle, I was using uh, the paddle as a push. So another thing that, that this boat does well is it actually uh, floats really well. I wouldn't have a problem taking this out into the uh, the open ocean. What would you say about that? Like maybe doing that Atacapa trip uh, through the caves out in the, in the middle of the ocean. Would you do that in this boat? Would you feel comfortable in that? Or I don't know. Only because of all the jagged rocks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, honestly, I'm not sure about that one. Open water? Yeah. Jagged rocks? Maybe not so much. This, uh, that being said, this is made out of the same type of material that a uh, river raft is built out of, and it's got a real solid um, material. So I would feel comfortable in it. But like this bottom area is, um, it's super uh, tough, and uh, you know, I guess if it did deflate, uh, you'd be uh, just have to swim, <laughs> which would suck. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Uh, once again, I think this is a great boat. I'm happy with the purchase. Uh, they seem to come in uh, right around the 700 to 769 uh, marker. I bought it off of eBay uh, from one of the, uh, the vendors. They come in uh, a couple different colors. Um, I tend to like the bright colors. I usually go for this green. Our last boat was green, and I do that for visibility when you're out with boats on the, uh, the open water. Um, the more visible you can be, the better off you are. So that's going to be it for now. Uh, thank you guys for watching so much. I appreciate each and every one of your views. Uh, I'm Tim Robel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you here next time.